Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm always humbled when I see a large crowd here to see you know, what I've done. And today is a very special day because this is one of my major projects over a 30-year career of illustrating John Milton's Paradise Lost. And I uh, started in 1979, 1980, and published a small book. And uh, it was exhibited at B. E. Dalton's flagship store in Manhattan on 48th and 5th Avenue. And I was really surprised that we had uh, displayed the original paintings of the window with the book. And I was very surprised to learn that it actually had sold out. It was a very small edition, about 500 copies. But they were very pleased. They said, it, well, they said at the time it was one of their best selling books. So I pursued uh, John Milton over many, many years. And I really didn't uh, add on to the paintings until uh, really recently. Over the years, especially after you both with the Wall Center, I recited John Milton's Paradise Lost from my synopsized version uh, every Mother's Day. And today, of course, is Mother's Day. Today I will not recite, but uh, I wanted to show for the first time the first few plates of my, one of my major productions. And this is the Elephant Foley, hand embellished gold leaf uh, a production of the complete synopsized version of my Paradise Lost. There are 15 major plates in the edition, and each plate that I do is printed, the original paintings are printed, and then I hand embellish with gold leaf the borders. And it's very intensive work, and it takes me at least three or four weeks for each page. And uh, so what we're seeing here are the first four pages that I've done for this project. And uh, uh, in any case, it's going to take me uh, the rest of the year, actually, to produce the very first folio of this edition. And only five folios will ever be produced in my lifetime. I'm lim limiting it to that. And uh, only two are available at this time. And uh, it'll, it'll take me probably uh, two or three years to complete all five editions. Only two are available to collectors now. And uh, actually, one major collection, in fact, the foremost collector in the world of John Milton illustrations and books, Dr. Robert J. Wickenheiser, he himself cannot afford a copy of the uh, embellished folio because they cost $100,000 each. Uh, so he asked me for a facsimile. And sometime after I produce the first folio, 15 illuminated hand embellished plates, I will do a facsimile production, G. Clay prints, and uh, he will have his copy at a much lesser price than $100,000. But I'm going to limit the production on the, uh, um, on the uh, uh, facsimiles, too. So in any case, what you see here today are the first four. And I start out doing these with stencils. Over here on this side, we have stencils. And this is a stencil for uh, the, uh, the E plate. And you can see I, I, I create the borders, I measure the border that I want, mm -hmm. and then I make cutouts. And after I make the cutouts, I actually spray gold paint uh, on, the, on the cutouts around for the borders. And after that, I have to cover up, by the way, the, the, uh, the printed parts because they, they have to remain pristine and they cannot have any paint or any, any marks on them at all. So I have to cover them up with pieces of paper for the entire painting process and gold leaf process. After I spray the borders with gold paint, then I, I use uh, shellac as a tactile device and then I put gold leaf, 24 karat gold leaf, uh, over the shellac, which dries very quickly. Now, a lot of gold leaf uh, uh, users uh, actually prefer a different type of thing. It's a varnish that dries very slowly, and it takes two hours to become tactile. But I like to work quickly. I can't wait two hours uh, for you know, uh, varnish to dry or become tactile. So shellac serves my purpose. It, it dries in, say, two or three minutes. But I very quickly use leaf within the first two minutes so that it immediately adheres. And after that, I actually spray the gold leaf with Damara varnish, or Kmar now it's called, uh, Kmar varnish, which again further adheres the gold. 
gold does not stick to anything. That's its, uh, its problem. So by using Kmar varnish, I can now use oil paints over the gold leaf to highlight things and bring out the forms, which you will see over here. And I would like the camera to come closely to the uh, to one of these here. And you will see that uh, actually on the uh, fraudulent Eve plates here, now this was all solid gold. And after that, I, I go in with a very small brush and detail it, in this case, with sienna. Sienna and gold and green uh, is a very uh, good combination. And I highlight everything to bring out the forms of the snakes. Now, why use gold? Well, I'll tell you, gold is very special. It draws you in. And it actually floats off the page. It floats off the green uh, and everything. And you can imagine a book like this. These are pages of a book that will, will eventually be bound. And when you open up the book and you see a plate like this, a very large format plate at like this, 13 by 19, which is why it's called an elephant folio. It's a very large book. And when you open it up, you will see the glory of having a book like this in your hand. It's like the great illuminated manuscripts of the 15th and 16th century, which haven't really been done since that time. So really nothing has been done like this for hundreds of years. And uh, this particular book, I do believe, will uh, live in history as one of the greatest uh, hand embellished printed folios in the history of bookmaking. Hopefully it will be. And uh, my reputation now is such that uh, I'm known around the world for this. I'm on the, uh, my illustrations are on the cover of the uh, uh, definitive Milton of our time for college texts. And I'm in the high school textbook alongside William Blake, which was distributed all across the United States. 350,000 plus uh, uh, books were printed for the high, school, high schools across the United States, both in English and Spanish. So indeed, uh, I know that uh, I have made my mark for this in the 20th and 21st century for Milton, who is the greatest uh, probably poet the world has ever produced. And certainly, he produced the foremost work of literature in the English language. I'm so proud that I could carry on his tradition in producing this. Anyway, I'm so glad everybody showed up today. And I'm absolutely delighted I have June here, Yuko, and Damon to help me with this enterprise. And uh, I look forward to showing you all of the finished plates, 15 uh, major plates plus many historiated initials in the fall, late fall probably, because it's going to take a long time to finish this major project. I hope to see you there. Thank you very much. Thank you. I <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.